Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Today we're talking about window tint and this is our first tint video. Here we have our 2022 full-size Ford Bronco Raptor. And of course, all the full-size Ford Bronco Raptors have the same dimensions on their windows. Everyone has the same windows. Before yesterday, I had never even played with tint. I didn't watch any videos on how to install this. And I'm surprised actually how well this piece came out knowing that I had never read up on it. Ever since moving to Florida, you'd think I would want tint on my vehicles. The only issue is everyone says, oh yeah, schedule an appointment. And when I do, no one actually replies to those emails on their websites. So we have the software available to make pre-cut film and I just never touched it before. What we have on the front window right here is 30%. Let me swing over to the passenger side, which I have not touched yet, so you can see what it looks like from the factory. Everyone was getting ready for Halloween. I was still at the office doing this install. I didn't bring out the right amount of installation fluid. I was actually running low on that. I didn't realize if you push these all the way over, the window will go up and you'll trick the door into thinking it's closed so that you can reach these bottom edges. With these pre-cut kits, all you have to do is align the top edge and sides and all the excess can go under here and under this rubber seal. I didn't know that. I had actually made some cuts at the top, but that was because we hadn't pushed the window all the way up. I'm gonna go get a few install items and a new set of tint and we'll go through this installation together. All right, so what I have here, of course, is the tint for the driver's side. Now, make sure when you're opening these up that you are matching the template on the inside right here. I know it can get confusing because you look at the outside of the window and it would naturally be different. We have a felt tip squeegee. We carry these in our store. We ship them with a lot of things. We won't be shipping them with the tint kit just because a lot of our customers already have these. We do recommend Sticker Insulation Fluid. This is one of our larger bottles. We don't have this on our site yet. We actually have a, like a smaller spray bottle. We should be putting these up soon. I also have an even larger bottle just for myself. Make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this install. You'll also want to have something that you can push in the latch on the side of the door so that window will go up. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is clean this area right here. Spray all of that. I'll clean it off. Try to get as far into those seals as possible. If you want, you can clean off the outside of the window as well, because when you try to search for bubbles, it'll be easier if the outside is clean. All right, let's push that latch open. It's almost like two clicks. You push it once and then twice, and that window goes straight up. Let me respray the bottom, make sure I got all of that. Some people do recommend getting like a razor blade and run it up and down your window just to make sure that nothing is sticking to it. Let me spray this down being really liberal. Right now it's 78 degrees. I would probably do this install in 75 to 85 degree weather. Not really colder, nice coverage on that. You also don't want to do it when it's windy because this film will catch this film is actually easier to crease than our normal vinyl. I'm gonna wet my fingers. I'm gonna start peeling it back and I'll spray. If you want, you can have someone else around to help hold this. Of course, my help is actually holding the camera right now. Like I said, this stuff is easy to crease. If you do get a crease, kind of start in another area, pulling it down. And honestly, this is where I would try to get that help and have someone hold it. These pieces are deceivingly large. I kind of push it up against this body panel, but I don't want it, that adhesive side to come into contact with anything. We do have a light breeze right now. You can see I'm doing this in the shade for obvious reasons. This would dry out very quickly if it wasn't done in the sun. The more fluid you have on here, the kind of more forgiving it all is. 
I'm gonna attack it in the upper corners. Pretty much tacking it right below this seam. The glass is kind of has this like shaved feeling at the top. I'm gonna put it only on the spot where the glass is pretty much normal. It doesn't have that etched glass feeling right where I'm putting it. I'm gonna get my squeegee. I'll squeegee to the left. Squeegee to the right. Minor creases, you can use like a heat gun or hair dryer to soften that tint back up. Try to clean all of these areas around here just in case the tint comes in contact with it, including that rubber seal on the right side. Kind of be gentle in the beginning. You'll see the tint moving around. You don't want to crease it. You want to find a location for all this tint to go. That's why I'm squeegeeing it out to the corners. Again, on this edge, I'm inside of that etched glass feeling. I'm just right on the edge where the glass is completely normal and transparent. So for the rubber, you can peel it back just a little bit and use that other hard edge kind of get that tint to go under it. And push it down as well. So it goes behind the lower seal. Quickly make sure that tint is behind that rubber seal. Then you can go back to the felt tip side. Look at the glass from different angles and you can see where the bubbles still are. All right, so that completes the install for the driver's side on our 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. This is 30% for reference. We are only carrying 30% in the beginning. However, you guys can write us. You can ask us about different ratings and we can go ahead and purchase those and add them to our site as well. We're gonna leave this door open for a little bit, let it dry off, especially in the lower areas. But when you are ready for this window to go back down and close it, all you have to do is pull the handle. Just don't slam the door while the window is all the way up. One, because it won't latch, and two, because that glass will slam into the seal. All right, here's that part of the video where I give you a once over and let you know how everything turned out, let you guys get to see it with your own eyes. And I'm actually surprised how well I installed tint on this vehicle. Seeing that I've never touched it before, and now we'll have these kits available on our website for you guys to purchase and go through this installation for yourself. I'm glad that I don't have to call anyone to get this done. We just have to use our pre-cut vinyl templates. Um, I looked really closely and there are a couple bubbles still present. However, that should dry up within a few days and maybe even up to two weeks, just depending on your climate and how much sun your windows get. But for more information on stuff like this, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're coming out with for the 2021 and up for Bronco.